Reverend David Tuck um, from St. Albans Church in North Harrow. It, am I correct in assuming that he, he did come and give a talk in Ramadan as well? And he's back because he loves it here so much. And we love him too. The first thing I want to say is that when I come here, I think, no, I know that I'm among friends. And I value that more than I can ever say. Thank you, Mafal Ali. I want to draw your attention to a small church which was built just 350 years ago in the Midlands near Birmingham, in the middle of the Civil War here, when Christians were fighting each other in huge numbers. There were very few churches built at that time. And over the door, it says, this church was built in 1650 or whatever. We did the best of things in the worst of times. We did the best of things in the worst of times. Now, these aren't the worst of times for Muslims in Britain and elsewhere, but they are not good, and we need to recognize that. Gareth, you've shot my fox, but I'm going to say it again. Of course, there is a dreadful increase in Islamophobia at the moment throughout our land. There are some aspects of government policy which seem perversely to be almost designed to have the opposite effect from the ones which have been publicly stated. I deeply regret that. And I deeply regret, too, the terrible misrepresentation of Muslims and the Muslim faith in some of our red tops, our daily newspaper. It is simply dreadful. We can't affect things and make them change on the national scale. But here in our little platoon, Edmund Burke, the great 18th century statesman, said, we can make a difference. Two, three churches and Mafal Ali are doing some good things uh, together. And I just want to draw attention to those before I finish. Gary, thank you for mentioning the fact that for the last seven years, I think 50 or 60 members of this community have joined us joyfully, mostly young members, at Midnight Mass at St. Albans. We are deeply, deeply grateful for that. It's been a great thrill, and I hope it will be able to continue. Last Monday, here, and every eight weeks, Last week there were 16 of us all together, eight Muslims and eight Christians. We meet together as a dialogue group. We talk about mutual concerns, what's going on in the community. We study our scriptures together. The Muslims know their Arabic. Alas, the Christians do not know their Greek very well. How sad I am about that. We've we're learning to pray together uh, while respecting each other's traditions. We sailed down the Thames together not many months ago and had a lovely day out at Greenwich. We're planning, I think, in a few months' time to go to Kew together. I've written to the director of Kew and telling him he must let us all in for free. But I haven't had a reply. And when I sent an email to say nobody's replied, one of your community wrote back and said, David, if you don't at first succeed, try, try again. Thank you. And then I just want to tell you that two members of our group, one Christian and one Muslim, are going together to Jerusalem in March for a course uh, organized by the Muslim Christian Forum uh, with the title uh, New Perspectives. Changing. Oh. Sharing perspectives. Eileen, sharing perspectives, yes. And we are uh, amazed at the uh, generous funding which has come forward uh, to make that possible for those people who are going and are looking forward hugely to the feedback when they, when they come back. But most of all, I value hugely, and I know other members of my community too, the firm and growing friendships which have emerged as the result of our talking together after the first few. I cannot say how precious they are. It's one of the things that make it so special for me to live here in this part of London. Now, I just want to say that if you have any doubts as to whether 
people of different faiths, especially in this instance, Christians and Muslims and Jews can live together in peace over a long period. Do go this week, because it closes, to a great exhibition which is on at the moment at the British Museum, Egypt After the Pharaohs. They could do it, and so can we, and so will we. Thank you. Thank you.